To set up a game of record, place the playmat in the center of the table. Then deal one genre card to each player. Be sure to keep your genre hidden from other players. You then deal three chord cards face down to each player. Give each player one starting song card to add to their hand of chord cards. Finally, place the guitar picks in the bag. For wild picks, add one more than the number of players. On your turn, you select one of three actions and carry it out. You may take a pick from the supply and then place it in an available space on the fretboard. When you take a pick from the supply, you may activate its pick power. You may take a pick from the bag, view it privately, and place it face down in an available space. Picks taken from the bag may only be placed face down, but have the power to remove adjacent picks in the same fret. Finally, you may draw two chord cards, but must discard down to a total of three chord cards if you have more than this. To score a chord, the picks shown on your card must match the locations and colors on the fretboard. Note that this can be done during an opponent's turn. To score a song card, you must complete all chords listed on the card. Lead guitar scoring happens when a fret is filled with picks for the first time. The game ends when the final fret is filled. At the end of the game, you reveal your genre and gain lead guitar points for it. Add your completed chord card, song card, and lead guitar fame points all together. The player with the most fame wins.